four things that give a man swag. And let me tell you, brothers, you were built for swag. If we think about swag in the right way, of course. Uh, the origin of the word swag comes from the word swagger, which swagger actually has, it has both a negative and a positive connotation because swagger is referring to a very confident and typically arrogant or aggressive gait. So a person with a lot of confidence, but they're arrogant, okay? Now our contemporary use of the word swag has more positive connotations. So uh, bold self-assurance of style or manner. It's a person who has that kind of it factor where there's a confidence that is clearly not coming from their title or their fame or their money or their possessions. They just kind of have a charisma, which we just think is cool. There's a kind of gravitas, a weightiness to your presence when you walk in the room. It's almost like um, the way some people, well, there's certainly well-known people we think of this way. When I watch, I watch a lot of sports and I have people on television talk about, say, a person like Magic Johnson or LeBron James or Kobe Bryant, when they enter the room, it's like the oxygen leaves. Without them saying anything, you sense their gravitas, right? There's a swagger. People would describe President Obama that way. There was a kind of swagger or swag to his gait, right? Well, every man is built for that. Amen. Regardless of your past or your history, there's something in you that is calling for that swag. And everyone in the world, when they see you, they're looking for it. Because when they see a man, they're looking for that swag. It's almost like when you get into a boat, you expect the boat to float. Why? Because it's a boat. It was built for that. When you get into a car, you expect to turn on the engine and drive. Why? Because it was built for that. So when people see you, they have a certain set of expectations regardless of your upbringing, if you had a good upbringing, a bad upbringing, good stuff or bad stuff, regardless, because you're a male, people have the expectation because intuitively they say you were built for that. Where's your swag? Now, it turns out that the four things that give a man swag are also the four things women want from a man. Because women were built to help cultivate the swag in a man. It says, every woman craves, I'm quoting him, a relationship with a real man. She might be temporarily satisfied with someone less mature, but at the end of the day, a woman wants to be with a real man. So that begs the question. Hey Amen, let's get some class for that. And they can't help it, that's how they were built. That's how they were built. They're looking for a real man. But see, that begs the question, what is a real man? Everybody has an opinion these days, have you noticed? I can't provide a definition of manhood that suits everyone because masculinity is expressed in all kinds of ways. I can't provide a definition of manhood that is not a broad generalization and that while resonating with many may not resonate with others. Masculinity has many different styles and expressions and quote, becoming a man is not a one time event. We're always becoming men. It's ongoing, ongoing. But. While masculinity may not have a definition, it does have a purpose. A real man is someone who lives the purpose of masculinity at the highest level. Real manhood is masculinity at the highest level. And let me tell you something, man, you were built for that. You were built for it. And don't be deceived by things in your past that don't look like excellence. You may have had a past where there's not been excellence or where you've done less than the standard. Don't be deceived by that. You were built for excellence, the excellence of masculinity. It's a call only you can fulfill. Amen. 